One of the best parts of the holiday season is food, food, and more food, and nothing makes me feel more festive than, you know, inhaling a plate of freshly baked cookies. And here to show us how to make the best batch this season is Canadian Living's executive food editor, Jennifer Danter. Thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, let's start with, I guess, the base of every cookie, the dough. What's your go-to dough? I have two, and the first one is a drop cookie dough. Okay. These are our minty chocolate swirls, and basically it's a friendly dough that comes together. Your basics, your butter, sugar, flour, baking soda, baking powder. Okay. And what I love about it, grab one. Okay. It's really soft and malleable. Yes, it is, okay. So you just want to gently so, round it. Uh -huh. And what we're going to do for easy decoration yeah. is coat them with some non -pareils. Okay, so just put, throw this in here? Throw it in there and then, and then help the little bits stick okay. together. Yeah, okay. And then roll it, okay, just... Yeah, you want to keep the round shape. Because okay. basically what happens okay. during baking is they're going to flatten out. So right. they're going to look like these. Okay. And then you they... Got oh, it. I see. I got it. Okay. And then, so then I just take that out and I just say put it right back here. Right there. It we'll should pretend be more, it's our baking It should sheet. be more round. But that's okay. And then so they, it, it ends up becoming like this. You could serve these as is. You could. You could drizzle with chocolate. There's also tons of different colors and shapes you could yeah. use. So that's good. But, but we're going to kick it up. We are. You got it. We're going to fill it. Right there is... Okay. Um, it's kind of like a candy cane. It's yeah. a regular icing butter, icing sugar, a little bit of vanilla, and peppermint filling. Because okay. once you swirl that on, it's going to look like a little candy Okay, how much cake. do I put on it? I'll probably put Well, much. I have a feeling you're probably a generous guy. Yeah, so. it's okay. So yep. let's see. So. Start in the middle, and then you can my, pipe I'm around. Gonna, I'm going to hold like this. Do you okay. want me to give you a tip? Yes. Okay. Hold the bag, squeeze it. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a great job. There we go. This uh, is the best part about baking. Even if it's ugly, you just eat it, right? Yeah, uh, correct. And then sandwich sand it together. Sandwich it together. Do you have to put them in the fridge or anything like that? Nope. Or just let them set? They're good hey, to go. I did a pretty decent job there. You did a great job. That's going right there with the with the profession. Oh, <laughs> the professional ones. All right, let's move on to your second dough. Second dough. Second dough. Classic. Bread. Yes. Butter, sugar, flour. And there are so many things you can do with a, with a shortbread, right? You can you can serve it as is, different shapes, different uh, textures. But yeah. I like what you've done over here. Let's get to it. Yes. So two things you can do. You can cut them into fingers right in the pan. Yep. You can roll them out and cut shapes. Now, grab a fork because this yeah. is a fun part. Uh-huh. This is just melted chocolate. Okay. And then is this your... called a double boiler? This is a double boiler. Eh? Ah, yeah, yeah, pretty good. Okay. Because the thing about chocolate, you don't want to overheat it at right. a high temperature. Okay. So this is a low simmer. Okay. And just till it melts, and then go Picasso on it. Okay, so like 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 that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that looks. I'll get a little good. over here. Drizzle that over looks top. Pretty good. And then the interesting part, I think, with baking right now, is uh -huh. mixing savory with your sweet. Sure. So I have some pink peppercorns. I have some sea salt. While the chocolate's still warm, just do a little peppercorn. drizzle really? over top. Okay, here yeah, let me try a little killer. more. Okay, so let's do let's do it like that. <laughs> and then that's kind of cool. Actually, I like and you could serve it like this you too. You could. Okay, so that goes like that, and then these go on top like that, just a little bit. Just a so little. Not too much. Yeah. The thing about pink peppercorns, yeah. they're not really fiery in your mouth. Okay. So. And then a little sea yeah, salt. Sea salt on top. Salt and pepper shortbread. Yeah, I want to try. Can I try one? Yeah. I want to see what this tastes like. While you're doing that, I know a lot of people have. Mm, that's really good. Oh, I got the pepper. Yeah, it's good. That's interesting. A little crunch, mm. crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for people, I get a lot of people saying they don't like baking, but what can I make for Christmas? Mm. And you got a bark. I do chocolate bark because okay. basically, if you can melt chocolate, you can make this. I so, think I can do that. All right, give it a stir. Okay. What we have to go in our bark today is we have pistachios, we have some crystallized ginger cranberries, and these beautiful candied oranges. And that's what it's all about, right? It's th those different textures that you put in it. So some of it's crunchy, some of it's a little smoother. Yep, and you want to think color. So I love the yep. candied oranges because they have a lot okay. of pop. So I put in here all of it right now? Not all of it. Oh, that's okay. a tip. We're just going to add kind of half of okay. everything. A little bit of this, yeah, OK. A little bit of this. And, and what's, what's a good, what's a good uh, rule of thumb in terms of combining these flavors and textures? Well, you want color because okay. I think uh, you want to this. Yep. And you can crush them up into tiny little pieces. Because when you have your chocolate bark, you want every bite to have a little right. bit of something, right? Yeah, eh. yeah. So basically, these have just been boiled in sugar and water and then left to air dry. OK. And I love it. They look like little stained glass windows. Mm, okay. So thank you. you. Yes, I need, to, I need to clean my hands a little bit. Oh, that looks great already. So what we want to do, mm -hmm. we're just going to give this a wipe so that it doesn't spill. OK. And spread it out. Just like that, huh? Just like that. And then what? You just let it dry. You're gonna let it dry, but we have to put the other things on. So let's get in oh, there. Oh, they go on uh, top now. Yeah. Right. Okay. Because we have our secret ingredient in here, and then we want every piece to have a little bit of something special on it. Yeah. So a little bit of. Yeah. So fire bomb those on. Yeah. All right. So a little bit of that on top, and then a little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. That's pretty. I'll get good. in here okay. with pistachios. Mm -hmm. And then these guys, we put them like there and. Yeah, and again, you can use little clementines. You could use dried fruit. This is a great idea. This was dried mango easy. is pretty killer. You know, I, I just heard Anne Marie talking downstairs about a, 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 
the crafts that they were doing downstairs as a good secret Santa. This would be a great secret Santa game. It is, because you're right. The chocolate will keep for about up to two weeks. Yeah. Depending on what you put on it, the nuts and the dried fruit, they don't break down the chocolate quickly. So it's a great thing that you can make about two weeks before Christmas and give. I would like to stay with the chocolate theme, if we could. We could. These are thumbprints. So it's a dough that's very similar to mm -hmm. the, the drop dough. Yep. Very easy to roll out. Obviously with the thumbprint in the middle. Yeah. So what you want to do, and great make ahead too, because you can make your base okay. a couple weeks before you're going to serve them. And then what we have here, this is um, edible gold dust. Okay, that seems a little, how do you get it? Okay. Well, it's, it's just gold dust. It's just gold dust? Just gold dust. Okay. I'll give that to you. And you it, can buy that at any baking okay. store. Okay, and I'm supposed to put stripes here? You can do stripes, you can do dots. Okay, you mix I'll, it with a little vodka first, because that's Mix it with, with, excuse me, what? A little bit of vodka. Mix it with some vodka, kids. You're not going to taste it. It's not going to affect the flavor at all. But it really helps it stick really? to, the, okay. to the dough. Okay, all right. And then we only have a few seconds left, so let's... This is our chocolate ganache, okay. basically melted chocolate again yeah. with some cream. And, and then you can fill the, the little nuggets in there. There we go. That looks good. Yeah. You're, you're awesome. natural at this. That's delicious. Okay, thank you so much for being here. We should thank tell everybody for me. all these recipes. Check out our website, yourmorning.ca. And for more holiday goodies, be sure to grab a copy of Canadian Living's Holiday Entertaining Special.